Hey, this is Josh Oaks, and in this short video, in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to use the Buffer app to post your tweets. You can go to BufferApp.com to sign up for something, or you can use the link below this to learn how to do that as well. I'm with MediaLeaders.com, events, classes, and best practices. You can join us at MediaLeaders.com or use the link below. Let me jump right on into it give you the good stuff. First of all, this is BufferApp.com. I've got a bit of a pro account or whatever they want to call it. It's about nine bucks a month. You can use it for free though. So this is how it works. Josh, why the heck would I ever want to use this? Good question. Sometimes you just want to send some tweets out and have it auto deploy over the long term. Now, my, our, our favorite people, Hootsuite, have this as well. It's called the auto schedule. Buffer works with a couple interesting pieces of technology. Let me show you a trick. I'm going to show you how I promote my event using Buffer. Now, many of you know I run a company called Media Leaders. We're at medialeaders.com. This is our next event called Network, Learn, and Build Your Business in Santa Monica at the Media Leaders Tour, where we travel around the country. We host a networking event on night one, panel discussion night two, startup workshop night three. Let me show you what I'm about to do. People have been registering for this networking event, and I want to give them a little shout out, right? So let me show you how we're going to do this. We are going to gently, I like to write a lot of messaging at once and slowly have it deploy over the week. So let me show you a little trick that I do. I go into Buffer, do you see up here at the top it says, what do you want to share? Cool. So let me show you what I've actually done. I'm going to pick a couple of these people that are the at signs on the list. First, I'm going to type this. So we're going to say, we're excited to have, and then we're going to include some at signs. I'm going to put another space. Uh, let's go grab some at signs actually. So let me, our registration system says, give me your at sign. So I'm going to go grab a couple at signs, control C. And you can just trust that I'm grabbing a few of these. There's one at sign. Um, then we've got Blake. We're going to toss Blake in there. And then I'm going to put a little amper stand because, um, because we got to save space. We only got 140 characters. We got to keep it light, bright, and polite, my friends. Look at this. Okay, so we're excited to have at this person, at this person, at this person. I'm including myself for fun. Um, registered for the hashtag ML tour. Now we're, we're using the hashtag because we're tracking a lot of stuff. I don't like hashtags except if it's around a group, an event, or a region. Okay, we'll talk about that more. You can read my book. Um, in Santa Monica and I'm making it personalized. And then I'm going to take, and remember, the formula is always include a link, control C. So I'm gonna take the for the link back to this page so people can come back and learn about these three people I just threw in. Now I'm gently gonna scroll down because we're gonna keep doing this. So let's do this, boom. Now this is the genius about Buffer. Let's walk back because this really is a Buffer video. I'm tossing in a nice little a nice little message here. Notice how it says 33 in the upper right. That means there's 33 characters left on Twitter. Uh, 33 characters out of the 140. So my goal is to A, to keep it as short as possible. B, if you click on these little accounts, this shows you what accounts we have. So this is a Twitter bird on Josh Oaks, my personal account. This is a Twitter bird on Media Leaders. And then this is a LinkedIn logo for Josh Oaks. When you click the LinkedIn logo and you toss a link in here, it auto deploys a picture. It says, whoa, we're gonna post a link. Do you want it to look like this? And so on and so on. I'm gonna turn that off for right now. Uh, this is also Facebook for Josh Oaks. For me personally, I can post to Facebook. Now, I don't like using Facebook uh, algorithms for Facebook, although this one seems to work really well because I think that the algorithm in Facebook sees tools like Buffer, like Hootsuite, and unfortunately, it seems to throttle them down a little bit. I could be wrong. They say that they throttle them back up. I love Hootsuite. I love Buffer. I think they're great systems, great tools. So go ahead and use them, but I always say that. Now you can post in the Media Leaders group. There's ways if you own a group, you can post in there. It's pretty awesome. And you can also um, post in LinkedIn. And then there's a couple other pieces of technology as well. Let's go ahead and toss that long link. Let's go back to the event. So we're looking at some messaging here. Up here in the upper left, you can see the medialeaders.com forward slash uh, the Media Leaders Tour Los Angeles. So I'm going to paste it in here. So we're excited to have at Romeo, at Blake, at Josh registered for the ML Tour in Santa Monica. Watch what happens. Did you see it auto shorten to a jump? Now, 
Now you could also shorten it to a bitly or shorten it to a buffly, which is cool. So you have a bunch of options there. Now what it's doing is it's, it's shortened it and it grabbed the token in there and it will auto track what happens. So what I'm going to do is send it out right now. You can buffer it, which I've done in the past and I can show you this. I'm going to go control A, control C just in case. And I'm going to click, if you click back in there, it auto saves it. I haven't deployed it yet. Let's click on Media Leaders Twitter, click on Analyt, uh, click on the buffer. Let's go down to the bottom. See how I've already buffered these in the future? We're excited to have these people. I've included three people in each one, and I've done the same thing. So it'll add it to the buffer for tomorrow. I've spaced them out by one hour. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. Now, I could send this out right now to my at sign personal and the company and and that would be a probably okay that people see it and they'll retweet it um, in fact I'm going to do that because I want to show you once it once it goes from the today the buffer app over uh, the buffer tab over to the analytics tab I want to show you what happens so we're gonna click share now boom your tweet has been shared you see the little green confirmation wait for that always perfect Okay, so that's shared. That's awesome. Now let's jump into the today. Let's say that you buffered something, but you want it to go out the end of today. You drag it right here. You grab this little thing and you drag it up to the end of today. How sweet is that? So let's go ahead and drag it over to here. Let's pick one of these and put it earlier today. Now, Josh, you're sending out way too many tweets. You're 100% right. I send out a ton of stuff. And that's because I write really great content myself. I want to deploy all the videos that we have. I've got just a bunch of stuff. So let me show you the schedule. We're going to go look at the analytics first, and then I'm going to show you the schedule tab and show you the settings tab. You ready? All right, so I always click on the analytics tab, and then for some reason I just like to click refresh, and it, anal it analyzes one more time. Now this is where it gets really cool. You can see retweets, how many people have retweeted, and what they're doing is they're tracking both Twitter and a couple other things. You can see mentions where people are mentioning it, retweeting it, and so on. And then also favorites, how many people are favoriting that specific tweet. This is designed to Twitter. And then, because remember, we're looking at the media leaders, the actual Twitter uh, profile here. And then favorites and clicks. Four people have clicked on that so far. That's why I refresh. Sometimes they're robots, but not all the time. I re-click it. I'm in the analytics tab. It's reloading. And I just like to have that happen every once in a while, four clicks. Now let's go look at a top tweet. This means it's a top tweet from the day usually. Three retweets, one favorite. Um, so people are retweeting it. And you can click on the retweets and see who's retweeted it. Those are your biggest fans. You can click on these retweets and you can see who's retweeted that and how many people. Now, you should be asking, Josh, why is that 35,000 different than 36,000? Well, my company has 35,000 followers on our at Media Leaders at Twitter handle. But if people retweet it and they throw it to their 11 followers, 664 and 78, it adds it up and it says there's your potential impressions. Now, we all know that not that many people saw it, but if a million person with a million followers were to retweet it, guess what? It goes to one million and something. That's pretty cool. So let's keep going down. You can then find your effectiveness on Twitter. And you know me, I like finding new customers, nurturing existing relationships, and tying everything to the bottom line. I'm pretty traditional in my marketing, and Twitter is no exception. So look at this, 44,000 potential. I got five retweets. So what I want you to do is, if you're using Buffer or Hootsuite, it's two wonderful tools. I want you to go back and study your effectiveness. If people really like something and they're clicking on it or they're retweeting it like crazy, we should learn from that and resend those and also that time of the day is great. Now let's jump over to the schedule. You can have Buffer auto schedule your stuff, meaning it will automatically say, here's the best times of the day to tweet. I have set it up, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but it's okay because I'm a professional tester, I'm a scientist in social media. I don't claim to know anything, I'm not an expert. I just test things, I go off the wall and I try it, I come back with a, a failure or a success and I show you how to do it. So I've got one tweet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten going out. 6 a.m. I always do it on the threes or the fives or the sevens, uh, a little bit crazy and there's a little tip, little side friendly tip for you. Um, it starts at 6 a.m. Why? Because I'm in Los Angeles, that's 9 a.m. New York time. I got a, New York, a lot of New York followers because I got a lot, of, a lot of friends over there. I host events in New York. And then I've got 9 p.m. here. And why is that? Because a lot of my people in L.A., they are tweeting at late night. 
and I get a lot of responses. Now, don't trust me. Go look. We can go look at the tab and go look at the responses. I've got the same thing going on for my personal account, and then I've got some settings. You can change your link shortening. You can add team members. You can reconnect it. You can remove this, and so on. Twitter for personal for Josh Oaks. I've got the same thing. I've got different times of the day, and I've got analytics as well, and so on. How to change the headlights? Oh, this is kind of cool. Um, I sent this out, I, uh, how to change the headlights in your Jeep Grand Cherokee and make it look 10 years younger. I'm always testing with my blog posts. I do a lot of how-tos. I like building things. So this is how to use this is how to use Buffer. And you can look at my Facebook stuff. I'm going to give you a couple tips. Now write this down. Facebook, I have it scheduled to only go out twice a day. You, and when you read my book, you'll realize I want you to schedule your Facebook stuff to go out more than six hours independently because the algorithm's watching. You don't want to blast your Facebook people. So if I have something cool to say, I send it out. I don't like using this app quite as much with Facebook, but if I had to, it only goes out twice a day. LinkedIn, the group, it goes out twice a day as well, 9 a.m., 2 p.m. Now, Facebook, this is for media leaders. I space it out three times a day, 7 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. It goes into the next bucket. So if I buffer something and I put it on this account, it throws it into the next one. Pretty cool. And it, I, you can turn days off. You can go, Josh, I only want to do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Great. Let's turn off some days. Look at that. And then you can add other days. You can have it do it. So you really can do some interesting formulas here. You can add a new posting schedule here. Twitter is really what I use this thing for. And here's another little trick. I have turned this into a default. When you see this little star over here, there's two defaults that I have. And here's what this means. If you click this little tiny heart, this star next to this, and a star next to this one, and these are the two stars that I have, when I go up here to auto to tweet and to type something in, Josh Oaks is amazing. Oh, I know, Josh, stop telling the truth. No, but if, if, if I were to go up there and and tweet something, guess what? These two usually get auto-deployed. Now, I may have left that one off for some reason, but normally they are automatically set as favorites, and those are the ones you're always tweeting from unless you change something, right? So go use these things wisely if you own a social media agency or you're posting for your agency. First of all, pay me millions of dollars. Second of all, use these things wisely and, um, and that's pretty awesome. Now, let me show you one more trick because this is a really cool little piece of technology. I want to show you how to add, you can connect your social networks here. It's pretty, you can connect an app.net, which we don't use as much, but I probably should. LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Hopefully someday they'll have Google+. Plus. Bufferapp.com people, hit me up. I think I know the founder. I've, we've emailed back and forth a long time ago. But hit me up. Let's talk about that stuff. Also, if you want to add people to your Twitter handle and you go to settings, you can go to team members. I can turn people on and off, invite team members just to this stuff, and I'm the owner. So it's really, really cool to see how this works i hope you enjoy it and that is pretty much it on buffer you can see the analytics let's go back one more time and just see how many people have actually uh, we're excited to have these people these people will eventually see the at sign and then they will click this their they will retweet it their friends will click it you can test the links from within here that's pretty cool so the link is then going to go over here um you can set three two one there's your page Pretty exciting. So now when people retweet, respond, and so on, they are clicking and, and so on. But you can see four clicks so far. You can also see if it, now if you don't like my messaging, I'm, I'm a big fan of just testing. So go test stuff. This tells you how many, what's working. Let's go back and look at some of my stuff. Let's analyze and pick me apart. Um, I like to, here's 10 tweets we sent out yesterday. Let's, let's go back to Tuesday. Get your free guide to social media for small business. Now, we had seven clicks to that, one retweet. That was our top tweet of the day, according to it, because it adds these up somehow. Which of these books is your favorite? Marketing, PR, or social media, 70 clicks. Now, I think I sent that out over a bunch of the same link. I think it used, if you look at the I, it sent it out a few different times. So it's tracking that same link over the course. It's aggregating it over a course of a lot of different ones. So 70 isn't exactly how many clicks I got. Uh, we could probably go track that. If you really want to dive in deep, here's a little trick. Control C, or if you're on the Mac, do your Command C stuff. Toss that in there. Do not press Enter. This is a little Josh Oak secret. Add a little plus sign at the end. So put in your bit.ly or your j.mp. Put a plus sign at the end before you press Enter. And you can see how many people are clicking on it. 47 in the beginning on the first day, 9, and then 14. Now, although Buffer will give you uh, exact clicks that match this, this shows just a little bit more day by day how it's working and so on. This is another way to slice your data. I love slicing data. 
it's like slice of bread. It's delicious and it's amazing. U.S., United Kingdom, Canada, Canada, Nicaragua, and Norway. I'm guess I don't know what's going on down there. I don't know why Nicaragua and uh, all these people are clicking on it. Some of these I don't know. Twitter, email clients, Facebook, and Hootsuite. Okay, awesome. Now you're getting any idea how this stuff works. Let's click learn marketing PR and social media by reading one of our 50 favorite books. I've got a book section of our site. You can click on here. You can go to medialeaders.com. Our team has read all these books. Pretty cool. And it's they're all linked to Amazon, so you can click on it and go buy the darn book right there. Pretty sweet. It claims that 70 people have clicked on these together. Light, bright, and polite tips. Social media starts with the decision process. So some of these have gotten five clicks, zero clicks. Notice how this one, it didn't shorten it. I have a long version of that. Um, I added this in later. Josh, why is that so long? Great question. If you want to go in and add a link, all you do is on the buffer app tab over here, click on one of your buffered things and you get a series of options. Delete, edit, share. Let's click edit. You can add something in there or you can just click in there and you can add HTTP medialeaders.com. Now notice how it's too long. See how it's red? That's too long. I would need to shorten it or just not add the link. But if you add a link, it actually won't shorten it. So watch this, HTTP medialeaders.com. Watch, it doesn't shorten it. So if you add it after the fact, if you buffer it the first time, it will shorten it in here. If you buffer it over here, it doesn't seem that it's gonna let you shorten it. There's usually a way to edit, and then maybe you can right click, but I don't see a shorten in here. And that could be a little bit, uh, that could be my error, but I don't see that. Okay, another trick is if you write them and you want to shuffle them, click up here in the upper right, mix up the order of your post. That's a pretty cool one. My team will write based on holidays sometimes. The copywriters will go, okay, tomorrow's Christmas, and so it's Christmas Eve, so let's write it and make sure we deploy. We know how many tweets go out and all that cool stuff. So if you want to shuffle, you can, but if you're writing like my team is more exacting, you got to be careful because you'll mess up your order. All right, this has been a quick overview. Click below, like this video if you really like what I said. Um, I'm going to show you one more little piece. Oh, visit medialeaders.com, join our mailing list, like this video, and please subscribe. I hope you use Buffer. I also hope you use Hootsuite. Those are two big pieces of technology that I use all the time. I like them both. I think they're different knives for different reasons in the kitchen. One's a butter knife, one is a steak knife. And everybody knows butter and steak go well together, so you can use them appropriately. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for watching. This is Josh Oaks signing off. Have a great day, and remember... Keep it light, bright, and polite. Take care.